Hi everyone, and welcome to another mini PD session with a primary kind of life. Today's lesson, how to activate ligatures in PowerPoint and Canva. A ligature is a special font character, like a letter or combination of letters that font makers create to make the font more readable. When enabled, ligatures are automatically used when you type certain letters or letter combinations. In script fonts, like the one I'm gonna show you today, they're used to help cursive letters connect smoothly, like real writing. Sounds amazing, right? Well, the problem is these ligatures are only readily available in Microsoft Word, Mac Pages, or paid Adobe products. If you're designing in PowerPoint or Canva, you have to do a little bit of a workaround, and that's what I'm gonna show you today. The first thing you want to do is enable ligatures in Microsoft Word. So to do that, go to Format, Font, and that's gonna pull up a dialog box where you'll have two options. The front page is gonna show you different colors and effects you can do with the font, but go ahead and click Advanced. And on that screen, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that kerning is selected with the blue box and go to Ligatures. Make sure it says All, and then lock it in by pressing OK. This will show you how the font was intended to be with the special characters. The problem is when I try to design in PowerPoint, the font doesn't appear that way. So the top bar shows you how it's supposed to look, but the bottom bar is actually how it does appear in PowerPoint. And I've highlighted it just to show you the problematic letter combinations. So you'll see the WR has that extra tail on it. The ON, same thing, and the WE doesn't quite connect in the right place. Okay, so here's the fix. You're gonna go open your font book application on a Mac. On a PC, you're gonna search for the character maps on a font. So head over to your Spotlight search bar and type in font, and that will give you the option to open font book. Go ahead and click it, and there you're gonna see all of the fonts that you have uploaded onto your computer. So we're gonna look at Cursive Peeps, and this shows you a generic map of all the characters that are available. You wanna to go to the repertoire view. So hit this grid right here, or you can go to view, repertoire. This will show you all the letters and numbers that are available on the font and keep in mind you can change the size by either going to the drop down or you can use the slider bar on the side. In the middle you're going to see accented letters for different languages but where you want to go is toward the bottom. These show you all the custom ligatures that have been made for the font. So let's search for that WR letter combination and then put that in PowerPoint instead. So I'm gonna find the combination I want, click it, and press Command C to copy it. Head back over to PowerPoint, select the problematic letter combination, then hit paste. It adds an extra space, but go ahead and hit delete. And then you can see the letter is now connected correctly. So let's do that again for the O and the N. Go ahead and find the letter combination, press copy, go back to PowerPoint, and highlight, paste, delete the extra space, and there you can see the difference right there. The ON connects on top versus this way, and I'm going to change that one too. So one more time I'm going to show you with the WE, go back to font book, find the letter you need, copy it, go back to PowerPoint, then hit paste, delete, and you have everything as it was intended to be. If you're designing in Canva, the process is exactly the same. You just go over to Fontbook and you find and replace the individual letter combinations that you want. Or if you've already done the work in PowerPoint, you can actually take entire pieces of text, copy it over, and then paste it into Canva. And if you do it that way, the format will preserve. Unfortunately, you cannot paste from Microsoft Word into PowerPoint or Canva. So until that feature is added, your best bet is heading over to Fontbook or the character maps on a PC and finding what you need. And that's it, another time-saving pro tip for you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share for more pocket-sized PD from your girl, APL, helping you live your best kind of life. Thanks for watching.